True. He had plans and dreams. I mean, this is not what he was expecting to happen. Staff Sergeant Tanner Grohn didn't always have his sights set on the Army. It was after realizing that college wasn't the right fit and extensive research that he enlisted in July 2017. It was scary. His family says the Army changed him. They could see after his graduation that he carried himself differently. He found his place. He was a Black Hawk mechanic with the 160th Night Stalkers based out of Fort Campbell in Tennessee. His mom said he made fast friends with those around him, which was just his nature. He and his sister would have each other's back in a heartbeat, and he loved her husband like a brother. And his parents, they were so proud of the man he grew to be. You don't really notice how good of a job you've done as a parent till all of a sudden they've done something. On Saturday, they were out to dinner when they got a call from someone who said they were with the Army, who stressed they needed to speak with them immediately. They knew Tanner was deployed, so when they saw a soldier and a police officer at their door, they already knew. We lost our perfect little family. <clears throat> our perfect little family is no more. Last week, Tanner told his parents that this would be his last deployment for a while. After it, he would start pilot school in Alabama. It was his last deployment. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. And today the family is traveling to Dover Air Force Base in Delaware for the dignified transfer. They say the Army is handling all of the coordinating to bring him home here to New Hampshire. His funeral is on the 25th at Gorham High School. We're live in Portsmouth, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.